tough morning for so many students. This was what happened last the last time they were in class. There you see that scene unfolding their arms above their heads. SWAT team surrounding their building. One of their classmates was shot and killed on campus and daybreaks. Hannah Davis is joining us live this morning at North Lake College in Irving. Hannah students are returning there today, but you were there when all of this began unfolding last Wednesday. Ron, I was out here just a few minutes after that call came out and I will never forget some of the things I saw. What really comes to mind for me was the parents and the students that rushed here to check on their loved ones and I will never forget the looks on their faces as they were worried coming here trying to figure out exactly what was going on and what this meant for their loved ones. Now we're here five days, days later now and we're finally opening up this college and it's going to be a tough day for students that are coming out here and we're also talking to the president of this college about what you guys have been doing the last couple days and what you're doing coming forward. First of all, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Well, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you and, and share what's going on here today. Very good. Now, can you tell us what's been going on the last couple days? What have you guys been doing here while the school's been shut down? Well, certainly we you know, spent Wednesday uh, in concern about what was happening and trying yeah. to resolve that the immediate situation. Thursday we were um, re trying to reconnect over 200 people with their belongings that had gotten left behind. Many people had to exit the, biz the building and, and leave that day without phones, keys, backpacks, purses. So we had set up in our library to reconnect people to their, their items and I feel really good that I have not had any reports of people not getting their yeah. things. Um, on Friday, we brought our faculty in to kind of debrief with them how they were feeling, how they were holding up, and how to talk to their students today when they came back. So that was something we were doing. And Dr. Slaco, you talk about going through those logistics, but now you've got this incredible challenge in front of you of how do you make students and staff feel safe after this? I can't imagine. What are the steps that you guys are taking? Well, certainly people are dealing with this in a wide array of feelings and emotions, but what we have planned for today, which we've been working through Saturday and even yesterday, our counselors will be in the library building here, and we have uh, we have brought counselors in from all over the mm -hmm. Dallas County Community College District to meet individually with students. We push that out on so social media, but we'll also be holding sessions multiple times during the day to say, come, yeah. you know, let, let us give you some, some tips for coping yeah. if you're afraid. We have therapy dogs coming on campus and this will be available for students and for I'm faculty going. and staff. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to us and I know so many people have been thinking about you and the entire school has been in the entire community's thoughts in the past couple days and this will be an ongoing story and we'll continue to cover it. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Ron, Alexa, we're going to send it back to you guys.